Alright, hello everybody and welcome to NX's TV. This is Kai and I, and today we'll be covering not just one, but two of Russia's CSGO games. The first one, obviously, is the game you're watching right now on your screens on Twitch TV, which is against the Spanish. So uh, if we do have a Spanish minority watching uh, an English stream, hola to you guys. And uh, if we have any Russian people watching, privit to you guys as well, I do believe. That's how you say hello in Russian, if not let me know. But yeah, knife round. Uh, Bog standard knife round. And the Spanish are the ones who emerge victorious. So I mean, I think it's no lie that, you know, this Russian side is uh, much, much stronger than the uh, Spanish side they're up against. Obviously they've got, well, the Russian side, terrific players on their side. They've got Dossier, Fox, Kibak, and Seized, Hooch. I mean, you know, just looking at names like Dossier and Fox, and terrific team. Um, as for the Spanish, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I haven't really heard of many of their players. Uh, that could be uh, because, well, I haven't looked into Spanish Counter-Strike Global Offensive uh, enough. Or it might just be because uh, no one has uh, genuinely heard of any of their players. So, I'm going to go ahead and say 16-8 uh, in favour of the Russians. Let me know what you guys think in the Twitch chat. I seem to be lacking a hood. What do you mean by that? I seem to be lacking a hood. No, everything's there. Um, uh, it was actually. Uh, oh, here we go. We're going to restart. 16.5 Mayhem Esports TV. Reckon 16.5. Let us know what you guys think. And maybe the person who guesses correctly will get a little surprise at the end of the stream. No, I'm kidding. I can't afford any uh, surprises. Yeah, the reason for the no no life bars, I get you. Uh, that's because of the server, yeah. European Championship config. We had that same issue a few uh, a few days ago. All the casters, because um, obviously they have different casters who cast in different languages. Uh, all the casters were panicking and they were saying, "Oh my God, what's going on?" And they, we were all trying to restart Steam and restart our games. Then it turned out it was because of uh, the actual European Championship servers themselves. So, uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for the broadcast to start. I believe this is due to, uh, I think they've got a 90 second delay on the server or something along those lines. If anyone watching is thinking of DDoSing, um, I'm on my knees begging you not to. Hopefully none of the other casters will reveal the IP address of uh, GoTV. Even if they do, please, no DDoSing, guys. This new sudden... Like influx of DDoS in Counter Strike Global Offensive now. Deary me. I wonder if the people who DDoS CSGO are actually CSGO players. Maybe they're just people who have nothing better to do than the, to just DDoS random shit. Anyways, I don't know. Excuse my, uh, excuse my French. <clears throat> but yeah, let's uh, take a look at the Spanish side, shall we? The Spanish side has Soka, Arki, Loel, Don, Q, and Christopher. So, let's see what happens. The knife has been skipped by the admin. Finally, things are warming up. The bots are being kicked, and uh, here we go. These guys can tell I'm extremely motivated at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we've got Grand X, who reckon 1610. We've got Spain starting on CT side, so uh, you're right, maybe they might get around 8 to 10 rounds on the board. Assume they go to the bottom standard CT side for them. Anyways, here we go, the match is restarting, <clears throat> and here we go, we are going to kick off. Spain versus uh, Mother Russia. No spectate GUI, you're absolutely correct. Um, I think it's their server again, let's have a look. Apologies about this, guys. We had the same issue a few days ago, and it was just due to the uh, config on the server. Just uh, sending the admins a message on Skype. The other casters are complaining as well. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, look at this uh, new sexy overlay. I, think, but I believe this uh, was introduced a few days ago, wasn't it? But anyway, let's have a look now. Kibaken with first blood onto Arky. Lowell through the smoke. Two smokes in front of him. He don't give a damn. He's going to land the headshot. Easy peasy. So four on four. Dozier's has already made his way down to this B-bomb site. Dozier, of course, member of the uh, Astana Dragons. And just as we talk about him, lands that USP, that Glock headshot onto Soka. Four versus three. Well, what is a CT-sided map is uh, currently not going in, uh, in, in favour of the counter-terrorists. We've got Don Q only on 16 HP and Lowell only on 62. So it's... Uh, as long as Seized and Coke can keep everything under control and talking about Seized, lovely Glock work from him. 1-0 Russia, they most certainly, we said they needed to keep everything under control, they most certainly did that. And uh, exactly what the doctor ordered, 1-0. And uh, have a look at this, there's this new equipment value thing at the top of the, uh, at the top of the, uh, of the screen. Okay, that seems to add basically out of the price of all the all the weapons or the grenades that each team has. So we've got Russia, fourteen thousand three hundred and fifty dollars worth of weapons, while Spain only one thousand four hundred dollars worth of weapons. So let's see what happens there. Lowell, oh, he's already digged one, takes out Dozzy outside. They've spotted him. Soka took down Kibak and seized with one, makes it two, and. Uh, Gets a hat trick as well, thank you very much, is what he says. And uh, without a doubt, he will want to get this bomb down now. Watching from behind, anticipated Christopher may have come from there, most certainly did, and now surely, surely Soka's not going to pull this out of the bag. And Hooch takes out the trash. 2 nil. As for someone saying, turn off the EFX sounds, I've, I've got no idea what you mean by EFX sounds. Um, if you want me to, t to make Counter-Strike slightly louder, I can do. There you go. So hopefully that's what you meant. So, 2-0 to Russian. And, oh, look at this. The Spanish, they've gone for an early buy. They've got one P90 and four pharmacies. So let's see what comes of this then. Kibaken with an AK. Seize with an AK. Oh, and there's a the headshot from Kibaken. We know he can do it. And he most certainly delivered the goods there. Music in game, turn it off. I'll... Uh, try to. So, <clears throat> four versus five now, and uh, I think that four versus three. Kibaken with uh, his second kill of the round. Easy peasy for the Russians, and this early bite for the CTs, not looking very good at the moment. Fox making his way around towards, uh, close to this A bomb site. Looks like they blatantly want to try and take this B bomb site. I'm not quite sure where the counter-terrorists are at the moment. And more near Ramadan. Lowell gets uh, surely going to be just a consolation frag. Sees has made his way into this upper bomb site. Wow, the Russians had me fooled there. And there we go. The bomb's going to go down. You're going to hear that music you all hate, but we will sort it out in a bit. Four versus two. Don Q and Lowell now. Lowell low on HP, only on 41. He has a, uh, a P250 as well by the looks of things. Sees just scouting that lower B bomb site on the hunt for a counter terrorist. Spots one. Don Q now. Last man standing for uh, España, for Spain. Down he goes. Seized with the hat trick that round. And if someone can uh, tell me the command to remove the music, I will remove it. <laughs> but I don't know the command, guys. So if someone can just type it in the chat, I'll be more than happy to remove the music for you. But yeah, 3 0. Of course, Spain, they went. Do it from the menu, mate. Well, I've got to cover this menu. Okay, fine, fine. You guys want to miss out on this ra round? Fine. It's down to you guys. Right. Oh, is it all Let's get rid of that. So I'm just going to assume that's it. And here we go. That didn't take too long, did it? So, five on five still. Spain, of course. Third round. They, uh, well, they did that early buy. It certainly didn't pay off for them. And see, he's, well, he's pulling off headshots for fun at the moment. He's already got one. He's going to spot another. Hooch are getting on the score sheet as well. 3 0 and 4 0 looks very lightly. And the second kill from Seas. Oh, Russia, they're wiping the floor with Spain at the moment. Spain. They won the ninth round. They chose CT side here on Nuke, but uh, it hasn't paid off for them. 4 0. Are we finally going to see a Spanish buy? The answer is yes. And oh, that's nice. We can now differentiate between uh, regular M4s and the silenced M4s there on the left. That's good. I like this new overlay. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, fair play to Valve. I think this only came out today in an update, didn't it? Oh, fair play to them.
So, 4 0 Russia. Now, this is where both teams are going to have to lock up now. Yeah, apologies about Skype. It's the uh, European Championship admins. I will put it on busy for you guys. There we go. Do not disturb. There we go. All right, back into the game now, and hopefully we can concentrate on this. So, five on five. Don't with the sign of M4. We're going to lob that grenade in towards Ram. He knows there's, uh, there's at least one terrorist there. The bomb's still outside near t -spawn. So, Russia, they're, they're doing the right thing. They've, uh, they've anticipated the fact that, well... Uh, Spain are going to have weapons, and they're taking their time. It's a, it is a CT-sided map, of course, and Arky emphasizes that. Lands the uh, first blood onto Fox. Killing him in the head. Could get a second, most certainly does. See you later, Hooch. And are we going to see Espania's first round on the board here? It is round number five. Seized. We know what he can do with that AK. He's, he's, he's brilliant with the AK, and, well, lived up to uh, what I anticipated there. Landed the headshot onto Don Q. And all of a sudden, Russia looked like the uh, seas may have just given them a way back into this. Soakers dropped down to the lower bomb site, scouting left, right, and center. Also, make sure that the bomb does not go down. Four versus three. Looks like they uh, want to hit this upper bomb site, but Lowell, well, uh, you'll most likely surprise them if they do decide to push through Hut. There's one of them in heaven as well. Here we go. Seas pushed up there. You got to kill Lowell with two. Good stuff from Lowell. Gets dropped by Dozier. And Soka and Arki now, they've got to work as a team, they've got to keep Dozier under control. Dozier for the Astana Dragons, second from Dozier. And Arki with 27 HP. Well, looked to be a Spanish round, now does not look very likely. The bomb is down now, it's a matter of, a ti a matter of time, it's a game of cat and mouse. Dozier has to protect the bomb. He spied the CT and lands the headshot, hat-trick from Dozier. Terrific stuff from the Russians, and at five, well, at five nil, I don't think there's going to be much, well, a way back into it for the Spanish. It looks like they're going to try and force by. Christopher's got an M4 with no armor, but hey, what's an M4 with no armor? Uh, Deary me. Regarding the font, uh, well, I'll try and speak to Valve about it, but. Uh, <laughs> Apologies if I was I can do about it. So, the CTs have gone for a mix by. They have a few M4s with no armor. Do you guys think that's a good idea? I don't know. Let me know. So, Don Q with the Fama shot. Kibak and returns the kill. Good stuff from uh, both the Russians and the Spanish. Kibak and flick shot onto Christopher's head while the Spains are being turned into, thre into shreds at the moment. Soka with the P90. They know he's there. Hooch is anticipating him. He's got his crosshair in the right place and had it in the right place at the right time. And it's now back down. Down to a one versus one. Lowell is in hut. He's going to spam a little bit through the uh, through the metal. Hooch is going to throw the nade. A game of cat and mouse once again. Lowell versus Hooch. Who's going to win this battle of wits? Is it going to be Lowell? Oh, he should have landed the shot there. Most well, certainly didn't. And Hoocher has been given time to uh, potentially escape now. He threw that flash into Squeaky, potentially trying to confuse Lowell. Maybe make it look like he is going to go towards ramp room. We know he most certainly isn't. Oh, now he is. Now he is. I think he could be listening to us. So, can Hoocher step his game up and make it 6-0 to our friends from the Far East? Well, Far East of Europe, not from the Far East. <laughs> Pretty sure they're Russian, not uh, something else. So... He's made his way towards this B-bomb site. Where's uh, Lowell? Surely he's realized by now. 20 seconds to go. Oh, there we go. He can hear the bomb going down. And he's going to make his way through vents. Can he rack up the Spanish's third, first round of this game now? Oh, he's looking at Hucha, but Hucha was too quick for him. Terrific stuff from the Russians, and it's 6-0. Spain, they forced for again, but Spain... You know, you most certainly don't look like Barcelona at the moment. You don't look like Real Madrid, and, uh, well... They've got to change something around. They're buying deagles. Fair play to him. It looks like they do have a few players who can use the uh, CSGO deagle. Deagle's not very... It's not the same it's the same deagle that used to be in the previous games, is it? Press X. Someone wants me to press X. I'll press X for you if you want. Oh, there we go. X-ray. Right, my bad for that. I forgot X-ray even existed. 
Um, so, 5 versus 5 now. Kivak and making his way towards ramp room. This should be easy 7-0 for the Russians. They're up against the Eagles and USPs and P250s. What's Don Q going to do here? He's going to fire a few shots at that USP. Took down Kivak. And wow, and what, a, what, a, what an opening kill that could turn out to be for the Spanish. If Don Q can pick up that AK after falling Kibak and it could uh, give the Spanish away back into this round. So Lowell's going to pop out of his bed. He's going to pop Fox. Oh, ho, ho. great eco round so far from the Spanish. The Russians, they're still making, they're still intent on going down to this lower bomb site. Not sure whether it's going to pay off for them. The Spanish, they've, they've pretty much stacked this lower bomb site. And Don Q at the moment is going to surprise, be in for a surprise. Not sure whether it's going to pay off for them. The Spanish, they've, they've pretty much stacked this lower bomb site. And Don Q at the moment is going to surprise, be in for a surprise as Dossier takes him down. Four versus three now. Lowell hiding in that window room. Sees is anticipating him. Lowell drops. Sees, 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 sees. Drop down. He's being flashed. He's being smoked. Nades flying left, right, and centre into him. Lowell with the first shot. Good stuff from Lowell. And the return kill from Sees. Wow. The Russians once again found themselves uh, at a disadvantage. And well, they've turned it around once again. Terrific stuff from the Russian. So can now last man standing. He's only got a deagle. He's, he's uh, scourging all over the map, all over Nuke, trying to find a gun to pick up. But he most certainly isn't because he's been sent back to CT spawn. And so the Russian player, 7-0. And the Spanish, well, Arky's got an AWP, so I'll tell you what, let's take Auto Director off for a little bit and go and have a look at Arky. Our good old friend Arky. Never heard of him, but, uh, uh, well, he seems to like that AWP, so it's always interesting to see a, <laughs> a nice bit of AWP work. And let's see how the Spanish are with the AWP. So great stuff from Soka. Wow. Um, too busy concentrating on the AWPer that uh, he managed to push outside and get two kills. But then again, you know, it's not the first time, you know, we see Russia. This fancy oh, and there's the AWP shot from Arky, who just showed too much of his AK. And are we going to see the first Spanish round on the board? Finally, round number eight. Is it going to be the first Spanish round racked up? For them, so a hat trick from him. And now he's only got C's to deal with. Where is C's? Well, let's... Uh, Take a look for him. Here he is. He's got Dossier's AK-47 red laminate. Spotted one. He's taken down Soka. He's already dealt enough damage already. Yeah, well, he made a lot of noise going into lobby and the Spanish made him pay the price. 7-1. Just to clarify, guys, I will have a. I have scheduled a co-caster for the next Russian game, which is going to be against Bosnia. I couldn't find a co-caster for this game. I'm all by myself, as you've most likely uh, realised by now. But yeah, anyway, so the CT is preparing for what could be a push from the terrorists. Oh, ho, ho, headshot from Dossi already. The terrorists all over this A bomb site. Lowell with two. Seize returns the kill. And Arky is outside by himself. Hoocher nails him in the head. Wow, a fast round from the Russians, and it's paying off for them. He's going to spot one. And Seize once again. Seize is the man of the AK 47. And he's done very, very well so far. That AK 47K is hardened. He's just running left, right, and center and popping heads. And that's something the Russians are renowned for on, in Counter Strike. This is Counter Strike Global Offensive, not football. If it was football, um, uh, <laughs> my money would be on the Spanish. But uh, I think it's safe to say the, uh, the Russians are a better Counter Strike, Counter -Strike uh, country. To the Spanish. So let's have a look at the scoreboard. Some people have left the lower on top of the scoreboard for the Spanish for Espana with 12 kills, 8 deaths. Soko with 5 kills, 9 deaths. Donkey with 4 kills, 8 deaths. And then uh, with 3 kills and Christopher with 2 kills. And as, just as we were discussing that, the Spanish find themselves one man up. So Hucha now, oh look, he's made his way around the back. He's going to spot one, but he's got two to deal with. Deals with one. Is he going to take down Soka? Not just yet. Soka managed to get away with his life. Three on three. And the terrorists want to infiltrate this lower bomb site now. One of them's been spotted in Hooch, and he's been sent down and back to T-spawn. He's seized all by himself now. Surely he's not going to pull the clutch off. He's got an AK-47. 
and he's going to pop up, and he's going to spot one, he's going to fire, but you know, we praised Seeds, uh, Seeds, we praised Seeds in the last round, but unfortunately he just did not have enough HP to work his magic at the end of that round, so, we uh, already took a look at Espania's scores, let's take a look at the uh, Mother Russia scores, so Seized, again, he's been absolutely superb, my, 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 my man of the match so far, 17 kills, 4 deaths, Hucha next with 10 kills, 4 deaths, Kibaken with 8 kills, 9 deaths, Dozier with 7 kills, 6 deaths, and Fox, well, there's no line that it's not Fox's best game at the time, 1 kill, 6 deaths, so come on Fox, um, uh, we know you're better than this, let's start seeing... Uh, what we expect from so Fox talking about Fox, he was spotted, gets himself an assist as Hoocher blows Arky to smithereens. Fox uh, gives another rush in over advantage, not just yet. Five versus four. Kibaka making his way towards Ram for spot one. He's uh, looking for another Don Q with the first. Christopher as well. Two from Don Q. And he's got to reload. That, of course, that Silence M4 has only 20 bullets. So he is reloading. Hoocher is just coming down from his uh, right-hand side. Dozier making his way down towards heaven. Down Dozier goes. And Hoocher all by himself. Christopher knows he's going to be coming towards this lower B bomb site. And there we go. The Spanish were 8-0 down at one point. And, well, now it's 8-3, so it's good stuff from, uh, from, from the Spanish players. Um, uh, you know, it is a CT-sided map, guys, and uh, it, it, sh it really shouldn't be 8 rounds to the terrorists. Um, at, this, at this rate, if Spain go ahead and win all the remaining rounds of this half, it'll only be 8-7, and we'll still have the terrorists in the lead. So, you know, CT-sided map... The terrorists should never win on nuke, but uh, you know, uh, it's Russia, it's Russia, and uh, we all know how good the, the Russians are, especially opposed to the Spanish, and uh, well, they, they're making it count at the moment, at the moment they are decoing, however, there's the first blood kill onto Seize, thanks to Christopher, the man on your screens right now, favour. Sofa drops down and drops Fox, so good stuff. Typical eco bash so far. Surprisingly, though, the Spanish the Spanish have lost one man. We all hate slow rounds like these, don't we? Come on, guys. I mean, the Russians look like they have a plan of some sort. The bomb is still waiting in the lobby. Kibakan and Hucha outside. I think it is going to be a late push towards the uh, upper bomb site. Soccer drops Hucha, and what's Dozier going to do now? Oh, here he is. Here he is. What, what are you going to do, Dozier? Come on, then. Let's be having you. He's got a P250, and he's walking out towards this A bomb site. Soccer, ooh, Soccer didn't spot him. He's taking his time. I think. Oh, he, he is. He's dropping. He's dropping down. They spotted him. They spotted him, and he there. Ooh, 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 ooh. They spotted him, and they took good care of him. Eight four, and the Spanish are slowly bringing it back round, which is what we expected. Of course, AK 47s The terrorists, they do have it easier. In one perspective, financially, because, well, AK-47s, we all know AK-47s are a lot cheaper than uh, their counter-terrorist counterpart in their M4s. So the Russians have been able to buy, and that's exactly what we wanted. They've got no AWP, though, um, but then again, we haven't seen them use an AWP much. It's been mainly Arky on the Spanish side using the AWP, so... Uh, Let's see what how what could what could be this round then. So round number thirteen, Russia versus Spain. Arky with a headshot onto Hoocher. A good start from the Spanish. Kibakan holding the angle returns the kill. Good stuff from Kibakan and the Spanish at the moment. Well, it doesn't look like they've got any Chavis or any Esters on this side. Not playing well at all. Don't shoot the kill onto Dozier Fox and Kibakan with two kills already. Well, it looked like a slow round. It's gone uh, slightly quicker. And uh, two versus two. Just turned to a two versus one. Seized now. Has to try and rescue this round. So Christopher's watching ramp. Seized. He ran right into Lowell's trap. Eight five in favor of the Russians. So someone mentioning that um, two hundred to uh, four hundred dollars much cheaper. Um, like some people are saying. In uh, competitive Counter Strike, two hundred and four hundred dollars can go a, a very long way. Like someone said, a diffuse it can be you know a difference between having a diffuse kit and not having a diffuse kit. You know, diffuse kit four hundred dollars, 
that's, you know, it really, it, it can make a big difference. So, an all deco round from the Russians, once again. And they're uh, all going towards outside, so uh, let's, let's be having you. Russians, let's see where you're going. Russia making his way towards the A-bomb site. Christopher once again with first blood. Does he with the P-250 on to Arky in a four versus four. The Spanish find themselves one man down against this Deco Russian side. Don Q and Lowell get on the score sheet. Soccer as well. Kibakin has managed to pick up an M4 from somewhere and so has deals with him very well. And the Russians ain't nil down like we said. Now it's 8-6. They're doing well and uh, the Russians are going to go ahead and buy. I think, I think if the Russians get 9-6... Uh, that might leave the game a step too far for the Spanish um, on T side. Um, as it stands at the moment, if the Spanish get this round, they'll find themselves at 8-7. And assuming they have a decent T side, it, it might end up being a close game. The Russians, of course, they do have Bosnia to deal with after this game. Soka playing very aggressively here at Hut. He spotted one. Ark is being smoked out at outside. He's going to throw that nade and fall back. A sensible choice, but so many smokes outside. There's nothing he can see. He's a blind man. Get back and throwing that grenade towards Squeaky. Not just one grenade. Holy moly. How many grenades has he got? He's throwing all of them. He's uh, throwing all of them. Looks like they are going to uh, launch this attack onto this A bomb site. Now Lowell's waiting for him. He's going to spot Seas. He's going to deal with him very well. Dozier just manages to escape with his life. Noel's going to throw another nade into uh, that nade fest occurring at the moment near Squeaky and Hut. Dozier lands a headshot onto Soka, holding that angle. Arky, he spots the terrorist outside, missed that quick scope shot. Missed again, you can't miss important shots like that. Four versus four. Is it going to be Russia's round or is it going to go to the Spanish? Only time will tell. The momentum is all in favour of the Spanish. They've racked up, I think it's six rounds, con six consecutive rounds already. They're making their way finally into round three now. They've made their decision. They're going to go towards this lower bomb site. Oh, they could, of course, go towards heaven, towards the upper bomb site. Arky holds up the angle, misses the orb shot once again. Deary me, Arky, you've got to do better than that. And maybe we're finally going to see a kill from Christopher. Maybe not. Hoocher making his way towards Hut now. Holy moly, what's going on here then? Hoocher, finally, we've got a kill. Four versus three, and Arky. Well, he was missing a lot of orb shots earlier on, but finally he's, uh, well, he's managed to uh, get a kill with the uh, his beloved Deagle. So, three versus two, HP-wise, it should go Spain's way. Numerically, it should go in the way of the Russians. Fox lands a headshot onto Don Q, and now there's one more, a Spanish player remaining. And uh, finally, Russia have finally gone and around on the board after the, uh, well, what was a brilliant Spanish combat, to be fully honest. Um, so yeah, Lowell topping it for the Spaniards with a s 19 kills and 9 deaths. And C's topping it for the Russians at 17 kills, 9 deaths. C's with a score of 41. He's on top of the on top of the server at the moment, so fair play to him. And he pulled off some uh, terrific headshots in that first round. So, 96 in favour of the Russians. And let's remember guys, now the Russians... They, uh, they are on the uh, favoured CT side. I think it's, uh, well, in my opinion, I would say Nuke is maybe 65 to 70% CT sided. But, you know, when teams are as good as this, when it's so, when all the players are so, they've all got, they're all equally matched. It can always go either way. Three on three now. Caesar, Fox and Hoochie up against Arky, Christopher and Lowell. Caesar's made his way down to this lower bomb site, anticipating a few terrorists. Most likely... Will take one out, he most certainly does onto Christopher, and the bomb is going up and down like Super Mario in these vents at the moment. The bomb needs to go down. Can we hear it going down? It most certainly is going down. It's gone down on that upper bomb site. Lowell joins his teammate, lands that headshot onto Hoocher. This is what we've come to see. Frags for fun. Both CTs making their way down onto this A bomb site. Now Lowell playing from some other distance. The defuse has commenced. Seas is trying to protect his teammate, most certainly does. Three man from Seas. Terrific round from the Russian to secure the 10th round of the game for our friends from Eastern Europe. 10-6. And winning that pistol round, of course, on this CT-sided map should, on paper, guarantee them the next two rounds. They'll be able to buy up now. They'll buy up M4s. They'll buy up silenced M4s. A few uh, FAMASes in the mix there. And up against the Glocks and P250s of the Spaniards, it should be an easy Russian round. But, guys... Well, this is Counter-Strike, and, well, we all know anything can happen. 
The hood's messed up at the top. For some reason, it thinks all these Spanish Glocks are worth $18,000, which I don't quite understand. As it stands at the moment, it's a Pico bash from the Russians. There we go. Hucha has been caught once again outside. Oh, hang on a second. Two kills from the Spanish. And, well, Arky 6 HP. He does have the bomb. Surely not. Surely not. They use Oh, Don Q with the headshot. Sees now. Wow, things are getting hot and spicy now, aren't they? Don Q's the last man standing. Oh, but Fox managed to take him down. The value at the top is actually the equipment value of the... Uh... Ah, it's bugged. Okay, that explains it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point, guys. Anyways, 11-6, and as we expected, well, it wasn't easy for the Russians, was it? But, you know, they did get that second round after winning the pistol round. They do now, of course, still have the weapon advantage, but Spain have gone for an early buy. So let's see where they're heading. They've got two towards ramp room, that the bomb is still outside. Fox Orpin. We didn't see the Russians utilize an AWP much on T side, but Fox most certainly is trying to utilize an AWP now. He's got that big green gun, which in this case is a big orange gun, and does a lot of damage with it onto Don Q. Does your way in at front steps, throws that nade, does a little bit more damage onto Lowell. And the CTs at the moment, the Russians have it on lockdown. They are now up against the Spanish side, who have AK 47. Well, let's see what happens. Seeds has been, well, the terrorists have run right into Seeds. There's still one more in the smoke. Christopher and Soka versus all five Russians. Make that only Christopher. Last man standing now. He's going to try and perhaps sneak through this smoke. He's going to spot Kibaken, but Kibaken was too good for him. 12 6. And now with Russia, they've got the uh, double number of rounds that Spain have. And as we go into round number 19. They look strong. Spain, they went for the early buy. And, well, it didn't pay off for them. So now Russia, they're going to keep their big guns. Fox has still got his AWP. Kibaken, Dozier, Hucha and Seas have all got their rifles. And, unfortunately, the Spanish are stuck with, pit with uh, only pistols. So where are the Spanish heading, then? Taking their time. Oh, no, look, they're making their way right into this A-bomb site. Are they going to vent dive or are they going to try and plant here? Oh, Lowell's going to vent dive. He most certainly is. Three on three now. Fox making his way towards Hut. He's picked up an M4. Fox one deals with one. Three on two now. He's looking right. He's uh, going to look left. And he hears the bomb down on that lower bomb site. Two from Fox. Actually, he's that, that's his hat trick. Seized now making his way from behind. And they're all... It's a game of hide and seek. They're all looking for Lowell. And how low is Lowell going to be? He's going to spot one. Deals damage. But now they know where he is. And Fox brings him down. Good stuff from Fox. But Seized has no diffuse kit. Oh, I do believe he will get it. And uh, Fox is just going to jump around. Go back outside, pick up his uh, orc boom, and celebrate that lovely four man he got. So, 13-6. We are going to see a buy around from the Spaniards. Yes, we most certainly are. And, you know, hopefully, if we can get 37, it will be game on. It's tight. It is really tight, but... We saw the Spanish go eight rounds down in the first half and bring it back. Uh, so... There's no reason why they can't do the same. We know they've got the quality in the side. Individually, Russia are a much better better team. But, you know, Counter Strike, guys, it's a team game. It's a team game. You can have a team full of superstars like the Astana Dragons. And we saw it took them a lot of time to gel together. So, two kills already. Hooch has got to deal with not one but two. Three man for a Hooch. A terrific stuff from the Hooch. See, so he's going to get on the score sheet. Not once but twice. 14-6. And the Spaniards, I think they'll force by now. They surely they've got a force by. They're not going to give the Russians match point, are they? They are going to force by. Christopher's got an AK. There we go. AK's galore. But Don Q, yep, he's got an AK as well. So 14-6. And the Spaniards, well, we've got to see a little bit of Spanish magic. They've, well, they've got to try and avoid being Fernando Torres's, and they've got to be Iniesta's and Chavis and Ica Casillas's here. They've got to live up to, uh, well, we all know how good this the uh, Spanish football side is. Can they replicate something similar in Counter-Strike? At the moment, they most certainly haven't been able to. Spray onto Hoochie, but gets it eventually. Fox through the smoke with his AWP onto Lowell. They're anticipating Kibak and being at front steps, and a uh, very good anticipation from them. 
and three versus two. We said the Spanish need this round. Well, it's such a crucial round for the Spanish. Losing this round will give, well, will basically leave the game at match point. It'll give Russia at least a draw coming out of this game. Two versus two. Don Q and Soka now making their way down to this lower bomb site. This could be a colossal round for the Spanish. Seeds is just watching ramp room. Dozier is trying to protect this upper A bomb site. I think they've heard a few AK shots fired left, right, and center. Here we go then. The attack begins onto this B bomb site. Don Q will want to get this bomb down. He's already seen. Oh, great Molotov from Seized. The Russians, they know exactly where the terrorists are. Now they've got them under control. Seized has that M4A1S Dark Water. It's Soka. Oh, he's walking right into the trap of Seized. He most certainly does. Seized with the headshot. Don Q's been spotted. 15 rounds for Russia. And I think the turning point there in that two versus two. They realize the terrorists went to the lower bomb site. Seized, he had that Molotov. He put it down on the floor, and I think it confused the Spaniards because they wanted to get the bomb down. They got under pressure, 20 seconds, even less perhaps, to go. They wanted to get the bomb down, and they knew, hang on guys, the CTs, they've found us, they've tracked us down, they know exactly where we are, we're doomed. And well, the pressure was too much for them. And now, just imagine the pressure on their shoulders now, they need this round. It's such an important round, it's huge, it's going to be, it's such a humongous round for them. Lowell, well, let's kick off this humongous round with a shot onto seas and there we go good old European Championship Go TVs for some reason skipping 30 minutes ahead so two versus two two versus one and uh, Fox is the last man standing he knows exactly where Christopher is he knows Christopher is in vents he knows that Don Q is on the bomb site and there we go 15-7 um, just to clarify why Go TV sort of skipped, that's an issue we've had with the European Championship servers when it comes to uh, round 16-ish kind of thing, because you know if Russia get the next round they'll emerge victorious. Um, yeah, so we might get the same thing on this round, I hope we don't. Uh, if it does sort of skip 30 seconds forward, I do apologise, guys. So, here we go then. A buy round still from both sides. Spain, uh, surely that last round was only going to be a consolation for them. Dozier of the Astana Dragons dropping down to this lower bomb site. Four versus four. There we go, four versus three, and Russia, maybe the pressure's getting to them. They know they need, they need only one round. They know they're perhaps getting slightly complacent. Smokes have gone down on the on this uh, lower bomb site now. Lowell making way spotted Dozier in the window room. They're being bullets being fired left, right, and centre. Hoocher onto Arky. Massive tongue twist at the moment. Two from Hoocher. Great stuff from Hoocher. He doesn't want to let anyone into this lower bomb site. He's even having to go at spraying through the wall. Why not? A kill's a kill. Lowell spots one, and Hoocher gets round 16. So good stuff from.